I was going to the shop right to shop for my children, but now people are stoning shop right. They want shop right to leave Nigeria as soon as possible. Let me just turn my camera for you to see what is happening. Just see what is happening. This is Nigeria. This is Lagos. Because of xenophobic in South Africa, there's a response here. You can see police has blocked the entrance of shop right. Police has blocked the entrance of shop right, and you can see they can hear the gunshot. Even me, I have to learn now. But this is coming. Things are very bad now in South Africa. I mean in Nigeria because of what is happening in South Africa. See how people are running away? See how people are running away? See how people are running away? See the smoke? This is a shop ride. Shop ride is on fire. Because of what's happening in South Africa now. Things are not okay in Nigeria now. They want all South Africans to leave. Every South African shop to leave. Oh. The Popular Democratic Movement, PDM President and the Chairperson of Trade, Custom and Migration Committee of the Pan-African Parliament, McHenry Manani, said that this is not a time for silent diplomacy and that the SEDEC and AU chairpersons be more proactive and intervene before it's too late. I've written a letter to the AU chairperson, who is uh, His Excellency President uh, El Fattah Sisi of, of Egypt, to uh, call South African leadership to order. Uh, the same letter has also been dispatched to the SADC chairperson, uh, John Magufuli of Tanzania, that SADC must take South Africa to task because we cannot serve in institutions that espouses uh, the values of, of, of freedoms, that espouses the value of, of right to life, the right to labor, the right to, as, to freedom of association. And yet, when those rights are impugned by our member states, then we are very quiet. And I think quiet diplomacy should not work. I disagreed with uh, the chairmanship of Kaingo. So do I disagree with the chairmanship of, of, of Magufuli, because that is why I'm writing letters to them to become proactive, to, to react um, as, as matters uh, unfolds, and to, and to, to, to be rule-based organization. It, it is one thing to belong to an organization that has rules, and another one to belong to one that doesn't have rules. SADAC has rules. And the rules are being impugned upon by a member state. And what do you do? You just keep quiet or pick up a call and say, no, my brother, Cyril, what is happening? And Cyril explain to you, uh, uh, President Ramaphosa, sorry, it's just a common name known about, uh, about him being Cyril, just as I'm known as McHenry. But with all due respect, Cyril Ramaphosa, the president of South Africa, you, you just don't call him and just say, no, uh, please resolve that matter. You must act by the rules of SADA. You must act by the rules of the African Union. So I think the chairmen of, of, of this institution should play by the rules of those organizations as opposed to the friendship that they have with those with the country's leadership. Vanani added that Nigerians are naturally go-getters and are also the largest population on the African continent with about 190 million, which allows them to be everywhere like the Chinese. Yes, Nigerians are generally uh, go-getters. Now they are go-getters in in a number of areas, both legal and illegal. Uh, it is the, one of the largest, if, if not, uh, I think it's the largest population on the continent. It is the largest economy on the continent, uh, coupled with South Africa. I think they are eclipsing each other every year. So it's a very large economy, it's a very large population. So it is understandable that the largest people in the world will always uh, be in the shores of others. That's why China is everywhere. It's because it is the largest population in the world. If you go to India, probably the second largest population in the world is everywhere. Go to Brazil, I've just returned from Brazil, go to Brazil, go to Mexico, go to, go to Canada. Everywhere you find Indians. Go to Uganda, go to Kenya. It's because they are prosperous people, they are business people, they really want to do things. And now the Asian Tigers, also the Bangladeshis, the Pakistanis, all these countries that are propelling themselves to become new civilizations are also going around. The PDM president also stressed that it is high time for Namibia to start producing its own food products to stop being so co-dependent on South Africa. The very reason that I'm in politics is to, is to drive dependency. There are two things that we need to become dependent and that is a question of food security. It is unacceptable, unexplainable 
29 years after independence that nearly every food product that Namibia consumes comes from South Africa. Why? Because we have not revolutionized water. Our manifesto is going to be launched very uh, early next week. You shall be listening to what we are saying about delivering a, a mechanized agriculture that catapulted food security and created the necessary jobs. The situation started with the stoppage of South African trucks driven by foreigners to looting foreign stores and now allegedly xenophobic attacks that have seen the likes of South African President Cyril Ramaphosa and EFF President Julius Malema condemn the attacks in their country.